I got somebody that wants me to make a sign that says, welcome to Field Pot. So that is what we're gonna be making today. I'm gonna to show you, we're gonna try out my action cam. I'm gonna show you kind of step by step. And if you stay with me and if you like and subscribe, you'll see some more videos. But if you stay with me to the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly what I did. All right.
All right, well, that was interesting. Tried out a couple of action cams. They were the cheaper quesos, a quesos. Uh, one of them that I was using fried on me three times. I guess I thought it was me. Now it's the camera, it got overheated. They got overheated in their boxes. It is 100, feels like 105 out here today in Kentucky. So uh, I'll give them a little bit, but uh, I'm not gonna give them too much longer because I lost a lot of footage, a lot of good things. And I'm gonna tell you what you did not see. And I apologize for that. As you can tell, the sign came out really well. I think they're gonna be ecstatic. They're gonna be thrilled. They're gonna be happy with it. Uh, as you can tell, it's finished. <laughs> I had all that down. I was showing you what I was sanding. I was showing you everything. But let's go over a replay. As you, what you last saw is that I had everything indented, okay? I had everything in, it looked good. Uh, what I stepped up next to, uh, if you go, I wanted to throw Ryan Cook out there. He has a welcome sign video. And it's pretty much his process from at the very end of it. You know, he takes the black paint, goes over top of it, and that's exactly what I did with this, and that's how I do my signs. And then, after that, I take the I take the blowtorch to it, and he does too as well. And you burn all that paint off, okay? It's going to be all over the letters and everything. This whole board's going to be covered. Don't worry about that. This whole board's going to be covered. It's going to be good. It's going to be like I use black right on this, and so that's what you're going to see. You're going to see like a solid black board to get all the nooks and crannies, and get at it, get everything as if where you're going to be looking underneath. Like if this sign's put up, you want to look at the bottom of it to see what it's gonna look like from that angle. That way if somebody hangs it up high, like, oh, I didn't miss a bunch of stuff, you know. That's that's a good thing to do. Uh, so after I sit there, I painted everything, blow torched it, then I took my flap sander. I think I got it out here still. Here it is. I take this, you know, the wood is dry at this point. You wanna make sure the paint's dry so you're not building up your sander. As you can tell, this is the exact one I used and it's not built up at all. So, went over top of it. <sighs> went over top of it, got all the get all the wood that I wanted to be stained and showing, you know, like the pattern of the side itself. You know, up on the full box. <laughs> so, that's what you do next. You get out, you get the area done that you want to see and you want everybody else to see and you put, put that in. Like I made sure my saw lines and stuff came out on the sides all the way through. I also round off the edges on the bottom, on the whole bottom of the board, the slit itself. Go over top of that, make sure it's nice and smooth. That's just what I do. You want to, less is more here, but there was a bunch of signs, just as a quick tip, there was a bunch of signs that I used to do and I would do too much. I would do too much to them and then it went from a chainsaw sign to trying to look like a CNC sign and you know, that's not what people are buying. When people are going for a chainsaw carved sign, they want something that looks a little bit more rustic, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more character to it. So always remember that, don't do too much. Do to where it looks good, and then start backing off. You know, you want, your, you want your letters to be readable and not cut out and to flow good, but don't do too much. That's just a good tip. So uh, from there, I did put some, I just put a sealer on after that. You know, go with whatever sealer you want. I'm not gonna recommend anything. There's all kinds of ways you can finish this. You could paint the whole sign if you wanted to. Uh, you could do your tops, whatever design you like to do. Okay, but this is mine. This is how it turned out. Hopefully you kind of saw exactly what I did. You, you saw how I got to the letters and everything cut out. You saw that. So I'm at least happy with that. That's baby T over there. Anyways, you saw this. You saw how to make it out. Make your design, make it clean. If you have to measure, measure. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Came out pretty decent. And the type of board I'm using, these boards are from my lo local sawmill. They're about two inch thick. I like that size, two inches, and you can get them as wide as you want. You can just tell your dude, like, hey, I want it this wide or this wide or just. What it give me a bundle of assorted stuff that way you have uh you know all kinds of different woods to go with you'll have all kinds of different sizes to go with you can have live edges you can have straight edges just straight cuts uh and that's just what you go through you go through which boards you like to use other than that that's it that's it i hope you liked it hope you enjoyed anyways go ahead and like my channel subscribe i'd appreciate it uh if you're a chainsaw carver or anything like that, if you got comments or something, you know, that I could look at, if you got a channel that I could peek at, go ahead and subscribe to me and tell me, say, 
just put in the comments, I'm a carver and I'm gonna hit you right back, okay? Or anybody be like, hey, check out my channel. I'll come check out your channel. It doesn't bother me. You know, we're all sitting here trying to help each other and grow together. That's all just what it is. Anyways, have a good day. Be nice to everybody. Bye.